Some parts of Hecate's story are made up or purely speculation. This mysterious female boss, ruthless and merciless, has taken over form and left everyone in fear. Hecate, a name synonymous with fear and power, is shrouded in mystery. Her true name is unknown, buried deep in the shadows of her enigmatic past. Raised in the harsh and war-torn land of Camona, she faced adversity from a young age. Orphaned during a brutal raid, she was left to fend for herself, developing a fierce independence and honing her survival skills in the wild. Rumors say that she was taken in by a Rook mercenary group where she underwent ruling military training. Her natural talent for climbing and stealth made her an invaluable asset, quickly rising through the ranks. But Hecate's ambition knew no bounds. She wanted more. This drive led her to join Colom, where she aligned herself with the faction's infamous member, Kyla. Hecate has taken control of the farm, replacing Ajax as the dominant force. Known for her arrogance and ruthlessness, she thrives on getting her hands dirty. Hecate sees herself as the ultimate leader, always wanting to be above others, both literally and figuratively. As a climbing expert, she often leads her squad from high vantage points, looking down on her enemies with disdain. Her ambition doesn't stop at the farm, she has her eyes set on becoming the ultimate ruler of Kamona, standing alone at the top of the chain of command. This attitude, however, is not tolerated by everyone, sowing seeds of disconnect even within her own ranks. Hecate wears a T4 sack composite armor similar to DOS, but without a helmet, showcasing how fearless she is. Her guards are equipped with T3 lightweight body armor, also helmetless. She employs tactics reminiscent of Ajax, using decoy and smoke grenades to confuse and outmaneuver her enemies. Her weapon arsenal is formidable, featuring the MPX, the MCX and MP5. The MP5 is particularly lethal in her hands, with a 50 round drum magazine of T3 9x19mm AP 6.3 ammunition and a 30 round magazine filled with T4 7N31 bullets. Her guards, armed with M16s loaded with T3 M855 rounds, are equally dangerous. Hecate is not just deadly, she's also drop dead gorgeous and she exactly knows how to use her beauty to her advantage. With her stunning looks, shades, curves and long hair, she stands out effortlessly. She uses her charm to manipulate and control the soldiers around her, bending them to her will. Many have tried to flirt with her, seduced by her allure, but those who dared quickly vanished without a trace. Behind her beautiful facade lies a heart of ice and a mind full of cruelty, ready to unleash brutal punishment on anyone who crosses her. Outside of combat, Hecate's hobbies reveal her character. She enjoys cliff climbing, showcasing her agility and fearlessness. She has a notorious reputation for treating her guards harshly, viewing them as expendable assets rather than comrades. Hecate's ties to Kyla and the Column faction run deep. Her boss token, the Immaculate Carabiner, signifies her elite status and deadly skills. Her motto, when people stare at me, I stare back, usually with a gun aimed at their heads perfectly encapsulates her intimidating presence. Evita's abrupt departure raises suspicion. Some speculate that Evita was an undercover agent within the Abyss squad. With Hecate's arrival, Evita's cover was compromised, making it too dangerous for her to stay. It is possible that Evita and Hecate share a dark past, 
perhaps as former allies or rivals in the same mercenary group. Hecate's takeover forced Evita to vanish, leaving questions about their true connection. The name Hecate is inspired by the chief goddess presiding over magic and spells. Pillars called Hecate stood at the crossroads and doorways to ward of evil spirits, mirroring Hecate's role in Kamona as a figure of power and chaos. Hecate, the enigmatic leader of the Abyss Squad, has dethroned Ajax and claimed control over the farm. Her capabilities and those of her squad are undeniable. The challenge now is, who will rise to take her down? Will we ever uncover her real name? How did she manage to overthrow Ajax with such ease? Is there something sinister happening behind the scenes that we don't see yet? Prepare for the ultimate showdown in Kamona's world and brace yourself for the relentless power of Hecate. Hecate and your little abyss assholes! <laughs>